What's poppin' everybody? It's your boy Sean from Collector's Closet coming at you with another review. And so, a little bit of a car chronicles uh, for this video. I went to my local Target today. Um, I saw that they had that um, uh, Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin, Tyrannosaurus, uh, Sentry figure. Something that I've been anticipating since the uh, announcement of it. And uh, so I headed to my local Target. I saw that they had about six of them in stock. And I get there and sure enough, they had six of them on uh, the peg. Now, I don't know what's going on with Hasbro and the uh, Power Rangers uh, line, but the quality, the QC issues that that line has is insane. I'm saying like, out of all six of the figures, every last one of them had some type of uh, paint defects. Um, one of them literally looks like there was damage done to the plastic and they painted right over it. I mean, this is... So, I mean, I found the best out of the, um, out of the six. This is the one. We're going to do a review on it. Some of the paint apps... It's trash. Also, they decided to, um, like on the glove, they used red plastic and painted the white. So it's like an off white. You can, it's like you can see through the paint. Terrible decision. But um, I got to thinking about it, and it's like, man, you know, for twenty four ninety nine, uh which is what Hasbro is wanting and what they decided to go up on, on these figures. They're, they're, um, they're in competition with the heavy hitters, you know, your NECA's, your uh, Bandai, SH Figure Arts. And we're not getting that fucking quality. Seriously, like the, we getting reused parts, we getting terrible um, uh, paint applications, terrible sculpts, really. Um, they're not standardizing the, the technology with pinless, the pinless tech, um, especially with this Power Rangers line. Look, check big, man, that, that ninja uh, wave. There were figures with where the eyes were literally tamp on or painted, not even on where uh, in the uh, location of where the eyes are. And I don't know how this shit is passing QC. So we got to hold these, uh, these companies accountable in some way, shape, or form. It's our dollar. I will hate to see Hasbro lose or, you know, they're not not technically lose these uh their license, but they playing in the field with some heavy hard hitters, man. You get some guys like NECA where their figures are running about 30, 36 bucks. Uh Bandai, 30 to 36 bucks. And you're playing in that field. I mean you're charging 25, sometimes 28 bucks. 30 bucks, 36.99 with some of the uh Star Wars figures, but collecting this shit, man, like I say, man, I do it because I love it. It's the thrill of the hunt, the thrill of collecting. I love plastic. But um I got to be wise on what I'm spending my money on, man, because when I when I dissect this figure, man, you know my saying, Garbino. Um, I see pins. I see. Wait till you see the paint. Is that enough, man? The, the QC on this shit is is insane, and it seems to be something that uh, Power Rangers has uh, been uh, uh, struggling with. But um, I also grabbed a couple of, a couple of uh, other things. I grabbed that um, WWE Legends Lex Luger. Uh, the Legends joint. Actually called a chase. So if I could get it out the bag. Ah, I'm at work, by the way, but hey. So I caught the chase, the orange trunks. And I actually caught that spawn um, cyborg, which is riddled with a lot of issues. Looks dope as hell, but it has some terrible uh, issues. I caught that on sale clearance for $14.99 if you can believe it man it's that thing is $49.99 got it on clearance for $14.99 may do a review just to give my um 
uh, my honest opinion on it. But uh, yeah, stay tuned. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, share, leave a comment. And uh, yeah, you know my saying, man. It's your boy, Sean, and I'm out. One.